So hello everyone in this video we will be practically understanding all the events which we did in the last series. So let's understand all the events. So actually I have created the list in a txt file. So according to them we will be applying all these events. So I have already given you an overview about all these events in the last video. Now I'll be doing everything practically. So let's do that. So the first event or the first event is this one, the mouse events. And in the mouse events, we'll be covering up all these events, which are these one. And the first one is the on click event. So the on click event, as the name suggests, will occur when somebody clicks on a particular thing or it can be any button. It can be any heading or any element it can be. So let's say I don't have any any of this and I don't have the external CSS or let's say leave it and I want an alert when somebody clicks on this button. So that way I'm adding this method which is an alert method that allows us to show an alert. So if we click on this button you can see this alert is executed. I can also execute any other function if I have. So for example, if I have a function, we'll understand about the function in detail. Uh, let's just add this for now. Let's say I have this function log me out or log me. And it is just console logging something. So let's say I have this. So I am locked. Now I can call this log me function when somebody clicks on this button. So I can assign this on click event here and inside this on click event or in on this on click attribute, I can easily write something or I can easily call any function I want to execute. Make sure you execute the function because we want that. So if I do this and see the console now, So you can see it is uh, empty now. If I click on this button, there should be some lock here. So you can see it is logging something out. And if I click one more time, so it will log this two times. So this is basically the case. Now similarly, this was one way to call any event. We also have other way. For example, I can add this ID here for example this my BTN and I can add an event here for example instead of calling this event by this attribute I can easily call this by using or by getting this ID from document dot get element by ID and I can specify the ID which is nothing but my button and I can specify on click here. So you can see uh, my ID is also suggesting me that you can call these events and I can call this function now. So if I do this now you can see it is actually executed and my I am locked. So if I click on that, so it will work, but now it's not working. Okay, because I have called this in here in the global function. That's why we don't have any action here or the event here now. So you can see it is logged out. So without clicking of this button, this is logged out because I have called this in the global way or in the global script tag. So that's why it is logging something out. So it is actually executing this function. But if I remove this, uh, let's say this uh, bracket, then it will not execute this function. And if I click on this button now, then only it is logged out. So you have to make sure 
that you don't add any parentheses here if you're calling it like this otherwise it will be logged out or it will call this function without any click of or without calling that event so you have to just pass the name of the function instead of just uh, adding that bracket we add bracket when we add attributes here in the button or anywhere we are calling that event so only that you have to call that uh, brackets so this was the first event let's go to the next one uh, the next event we have is this on context menu this is executed when we uh, right click on something or when we right click on any element at that time we can call this function so it is very easy you just have to understand it like this so for example this one was on click event we can also call any other function let me just create one more function here L let's say this function name is right click and I can log something else or I can call any other piece of code here let me just write here the same log right clicked I can call this in the same manner just like I did this I can copy the same thing but instead of on click I can call on context menu on context menu and after that I can uh, specify the function that I want to execute when somebody right clicks on this button so this is the thing so now if I click on this button the first log is this this function is logged out but if I right click here so you can see this one is logged out because this was the second function we executed here so this was uh, the thing in here similarly we have the other method which is on mouse over which is executed when somebody hovers over the element for example let's say I want to change the this this color L let me just make it heading one that will be good for now let's say I have this heading and I want that I want to change the color when somebody hovers over this element or hovers over this heading one so I can do this by just calling on mouse over we can call it by ID as well that will be a good idea so let's say I have my heading uh, let me just call the function first change text color In here I can just call it like this document dot get element by ID and the ID is nothing but the heading and to change the color we have the style attribute here and I can uh, call this object style dot and then I can change the text color by using color property and I can specify the color to let's say red so this I did but I want that function to be executed when somebody hovers over this element so I can do anything I can add on mouse over event as an attribute here or I can call like this as well so I'll be going with the first one because that is the easiest one so I can call on mouse over and I can call the function name which is change text color I can pass that uh, let me just pass the name change text color now if I hover over that so you can see the text color is changed now but it is still red it is not changing back to the other color right we can also do that uh, that will be doing in a second you can see but initially it was in the black color but when I hovered over this element and 
then it became red in color but if i move my mouse outside then it is still red because that event is happened or that event changed the text color we can also use on mouse out here to change to a different color if you want so we can also call another function here on mouse out and we can reset color we can call this function and we can create this function here function reset color and inside that we can similarly do the same thing and make the text to black I can also make the text to something else but I wouldn't be doing that so this function will be executed when somebody uh, removes the mouse from that element so moves out that's that's for that so if i hover over that so red is activated and if i go back then black is there so this is basically the case similarly you can do any uh, type of styling in this function that you want you can change the background color or anything so basically it is for that and we can also use this function uh, instead of getting this element from the id because that will be static to this one we will not be able to use it for other elements we can also do this for do this like uh, we can also pass this element and call this as this and then we can change this dot style color so that is uh, the other way that we'll not be looking in this video because that is a DOM part so we'll be understanding in the DOM so this was all mouse events in the next video we'll be covering up the other events which are remaining so let's uh, meet in the another one thank you for watching